Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. This time I'm opening the doors to my daughter's bedroom. For those of you who follow me, you know that she's an interior architect with many other talents, including handling all our videography and editing. For those of you who are new, I'm Ravina Singh and I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. So let's get started. As you enter the room, there is a closet on the right, partially hidden behind the door. V has chosen to go for an open closet, which would otherwise have been a four-door. On this side, right on top, are her luggage bags. Both bags are from Primark in Germany. The bigger one has this muted rose gold polka dots and also some rose gold zippers. It comes with three smaller bags inside, so it's a complete set for her travel needs. Below that are her more formal clothes. On this side, she has traditional ethnic clothes, and I'm going to be very honest that I am 100% responsible for this category. Whether it's the color, the number of outfits she owns, it's all me. Then on this side, she has her work jackets, and in the middle are her dresses. Then below that, I really like this pull-out organizer, where she has her trousers, and behind that are her tights. On this side, in a white box, she has neatly arranged all her backpacks and also her tech bag. Now on this side are her daily wear clothes. This is 100% her. From the empty hangers, you can see she owns much less than I would like her to. And I'm sure you have already realized her choice of colors are much more subdued and pastel. I actually love this glass shelf here. You might have already recognized that this is a Pax closet from Ikea. And as there is a gap between the edge of her clothes and the shelf, we have added some decor here. Here you will see the second glimpse of rose gold. The brass tissue holder and both these frames sit elegantly right here. This handbag was actually mine. It's an Aldo bag, but it matches her outfits for this season much better. So I have passed it to her and it is the one that she's currently using to go with her grey and blush wardrobe. Now, below that are some drawers, starting with the one with a clear glass in front. In here, she has her clutch bags and a few of mine, which she has borrowed but uh, is yet to return. And um, can you guess what this is? Let me know what you think it is in the comments below. Here at the back are her wallets, an extra Burberry phone case and a compact. In front of that, she has an umbrella and also these are shoelaces, I believe, which she seems to have recently bought. She also recently bought this little evening bag from Vinci. And here are her sunglasses. And I got her this black bling bag while shopping at the airport, but she's yet to use it. I really love how she has organized this pullout so that it's functional and acts as some glam decor for her room as well. Next is a jammy drawer. She has used these storage cubes, which are originally from Ikea, but as the color was not in stock, she ordered them online. And the front three have her jammies all color coordinated. And then there are yoga pants, vests and singlets, boxer shorts, and her tank tops. All her clothes are kept vertically, folded the Con Marie way, and she really enjoys folding and keeping her closet pretty. Then there are her small clothes, as some people call it unmentionables but i'll mention them anyway her bras and undies these are her shorts skirts socks at the back there look at how beautifully folded her socks are and face towels and an empty cube which is space for growth and in the last drawer she has her knee brace she needs when she exercises this is due to a dance injury she had as a teenager then she has a swimwear her chiffon scarves rolled up in here some fabric she purchased but hasn't stitched. Hats in here, shawls, knitted scarves, and a spare throw blanket. She also has a pair of goggles tucked in in the side. And that's her closet. And since I seldom open her drawers, I have to admit I'm pretty impressed by her tidiness. Now on the opposite wall, there is a door to her bathroom and a small piece of artwork. And right next to that is her desk. She does mainly freelance work right now, along with working with me on the channel. So she spends a great deal of time working and editing in here. In this corner is this bouquet of four roses. 
It's got a tiny clipboard attached with a card that says, stop and smell the roses. A reminder to her to take a break here and there and relax. And then there are some more rose gold accessories. She has this tape dispenser and this cute mug with a fancy stapler in it, along with these large rose gold paper clips. Then there is also this awesome stiletto shoe tape dispenser with frosted tape that she uses for her work. Oh, and I need to tell you about this. This is actually a repurposed file holder. In Singapore, I was using rose gold as my accent metal, but when we moved here, she chose blush and rose gold for her room, so I gave her all my pieces. She keeps her notebooks in here as she's an avid writer in her free time. On this side, she has this little mint box which says her ladyship. I playfully refer to her as her ladyship, and in fact, I even bought her this polo shirt which says her ladyship from the Downton Abbey exhibition in Singapore. And in this box, she has her paper clips and her binder clamps and such, also, of course, in rose gold. She gets this entire box online whenever she needs her supply. This little faux plant here and her paint brushes. And that's another thing she loves, painting. Being an architect, she of course has a mini measuring tape on her table. Isn't this just gorgeous? It's rose gold, and if you just press the center here to retract it. Over here is this IKEA desk organizer, which is I believe an ingotop. And she has a book of scrapbooking paper here that she uses in her binders. And this is her planner and a couple of rose gold pens a spare phone, and this adorable sign that says, wake me up when I'm CEO. Now the chair. This is an architect's chair with a cushion for additional comfort. I often find her swirling on this chair while she's thinking. The desk itself is from Ikea as well. On one side, she has table legs, and on the other, she's got a chest of Ikea Alex drawers. In these drawers are all her tools for her work and her hobbies. In the top one, she has her pens for this huge architectural designs that she drafts. And uh, she's using these white organizers from the dollar store, which fit perfectly in here. That's her stamp for her work and her mini tech organizer with charging cables for her phones, her hard drive and USB drive. And in the second drawer, she has some regular stationery neatly arranged in another organizer. In these are her paints. Uh, these two are watercolours and this one, I believe, is oil paint and a box of pastels that I got for her recently. Then she has her larger oil paint tubes in here as well as some gesso and at the back are her Copic markers. And the last draw is her tech draw for her iPad, graphics tablet, a spare mouse. Uh, this is the box of the mouse that she's currently using, a hard drive and a set of new speakers. So as you can see, she's organized this to suit her needs and also by how often she needs to access these things. And now let's move on to her bed. This is a Hemnes Super Single from Ikea. All the sheets are white with blush and pink accent cushions. And these are her blankets. But this fleece blanket has been claimed by Zoe as her own. So if anyone tries to take it away, she throws a huge tantrum. I will try to get that on video and share on Instagram. It's, it's just, it's like the cutest ever. All of us have this Vitzjo bedside laptop table and we each love it. She also has a water bottle here as a reminder to stay hydrated. And when she's out, her laptop stays on it charging. Above the bed is this really sweet ballerina print. Her bedroom was pink at four and now at 24, it's pink again. And this picture from her childhood is back on the wall. Another thing I want to share is something under her bed. These drawers or crates on wheels hold a lot of her things that she doesn't need regularly, like her old notebooks filled with her writing and sketches and another with her childhood keepsakes. I won't open these because I think these are rather personal. And oh, look, I found her midnight snack here. At the foot of the bed, she has four bookshelves. So here are her novels and her books. This is Aria, her kitty cat. And I must tell you about this one. This is her weakness, the Volkswagen Beetle. She's always wanted one, but unfortunately, it went out of production right after she got her license. And this Eiffel Tower was a gift from her dad. It's probably the beginning of her love for Paris. And below that are her favorite childhood books, another keepsake, and this treasure book. This is a split geode. 
There is one here and another one on the shelf above it. These serve great as bookends. And this is one of her favorite teddy bears. She got him when she was two. And the most obvious name for him as far as her two-year-old mind went was Blue. And yeah, Blue stuck. So, and over here are her architectural and sketching reference books. We've got this adorable rose gold terrarium recently. And this candle is part of a set of three candles, also from Ikea. They come in white blush and pale dusty rose. And this limited edition Downton Abbey book is her favorite, and she's a huge fan of Downton Abbey. And this is a calligraphy set complete with a wax seal and a quill and ink which B loves way too much to use, so it just serves as some decor as well. Now, having furnished this room with IKEA furniture, we both agreed that the dressing table needed to be something more ornate. So we got this console table instead of a regular dressing table. It's also white, and that makes a great match. And we teamed it with a simple square mirror. Below that is her stool, it's almost like a poof with a black metal base. We are considering spray painting this in white, but that remains to be seen until we move. I do like the velvety fabric on the cushion. The stool is great for her to use when she does her makeup, but it also serves as additional seating when her friends and her brothers visit her room. On the top, she has this jewelry holder my parents gave her. It's blush and it has the same velvety finish as her stool. In the top drawer are her daily wear earrings, the second has evening wear, and the bottom has the smarter, more formal stuff. In the simple rose gold mirror tray is this candle and holder and her perfumes. Now let me introduce you to Delilah. Isn't she cute? So over here is the spray and tout set of tender poison I gave her, a rose gold clock and this pouch with this beautiful zipper to hold a small pair of scissors, her tweezers and nail clippers. Obviously, they are all in rose gold too. Then on this side is a table lamp, all in white, a small model fryer for her remote control, and a new perfume that she got from one of her friends. In the drawer here, she has her cosmetics, her makeup palettes, her Clinique night care, lipsticks, concealers and bronzers, and these are her oils and serums, moisturizer and foundations. In the drawer on the right are her hair products, her favorite hairband and her hairbrushes. And that's it. That's my daughter's room. I'm sure you can see how similar our tastes are, making us the perfect partners in our home organization and renovation business. I really hope you have enjoyed this long awaited video and do give it a thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you who are new, I also have a podcast channel on Podbean and Spotify, where we are currently discussing the art of decluttering. So do follow me there and until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.